Hey everyone, my name is Avik. I'm currently working on a film project of mine called The Girl Without a Song. And I was working on a part that required some chroma keying, and I thought I would make a tutorial. Now this is a tutorial for beginners, and while there are lots of tutorials on chroma keying, I thought I'd make another one because I have a certain workflow that I think is going to be very beneficial to beginners. So. Just keep watching until the end and uh, you'll see what I mean. So I thought I'd give you guys a practical example. And uh, this is a practical example in the sense that I'm working on this thing right now. And I'm assuming that you know some of you guys might face similar problems. So in this uh, scenario, the problem is we need to get rid of this microphone over here and get rid of this wall thingy thing over here. All right, so the first thing you need to do is come over here and click on the um, pen tool over here and uh, draw us a mask around things we don't need. Maybe like this can go over here. Okay. All right, so and now. We need to come over here, and you can see I've already picked it out, but you can type in key light, and then drop this on here. Come over to key light, use the color picker, pick a color near to them, and, you know, it's not a bad start right here. Um, all right, so let's go over to view go to combine mat and what we want to do is if we go back to the final result what we want to do is anything that used to be green before we want that to be black and anything that used to be uh, is them as the subject we need we want that to be white okay so you come over to screen mat you take the clip blocks up until you see this part going down, you see it's becoming completely black. Take the clip whites down until they become completely white. Okay, so that's kind of what you want. Now, if you want something, you know, sometimes you might face a situation where you might have to do some more, um, you know, more adjustments. You can always go to screen gain and screen balance and play with these two. Uh, in case this by itself doesn't solve all your problems, okay? And then if you go back to the final result, you can see. Now we want to, I want to do something else. I want to show you. Go to layer, new, solid. Let's pick a bright color, like an orange or something. Okay, like here. Take the solid below our layer so we can see what's going on here. Okay. All right. I think I think it's all right, but not exactly where we want to be. So I'm going to show you something. So when you come to a final result, and check this out. If I take the key light off, look at his jacket. Right. And put the key light on. Look at how how grainy it becomes. Look at all this stuff. What is, what the hell is all this stuff right here, right? Right. So now that's a problem. And the way, if you look at a lot of other uh, tutorials, the way they solve it is they take a the mask, the mat. They use this mat as a luma key for the final keying. But what we're gonna do is instead of final result, check this magic app. We're just gonna use intermediate result. And that's it. We're done. Right? That's just don't use final result, use intermediate result, and we're good. So go to screen softness and I'll show you why we're gonna do this. If you go to screen softness and just make it like two it's just not going to have that edge and just going to look better okay and now uh, get rid of this 
backdrop and add a backdrop that you want. I think the one we had over here was this thing right here. So now you're going to have to do a little bit of color correction so that, you know, uh, your subject matches the background. And I was working on something before. I did a little bit of color correction. Here, I'll show you. Here. So, kind of just did a little bit. So you can do that. And that's it. We're done. So the main story here is instead of using intermediate final result use intermediate so here we go so using final result use intermediate that's the magic <laughs> and you can of course adjust this further like look you can see at the edge it looks a little there's a, you can see the green tint right so you can come over to screen shrink and grow and make it like minus 1.5 in this case maybe and yeah that's that would be it i wouldn't do much more in this case now my uh, green screen wasn't it wasn't that difficult to do because uh if i take get rid of this this green screen part uh was about three meters away from uh, the subjects. And that's why there's so little spill. And so that's the key. So if you plan your uh, pre-production or your production, you're going to have less problems in your post-production. All right, so hope that was useful.